Hi, this is Bobby Brown, and welcome to another fucking podcast. You kids with your loud music and your Dan Fogelberg, your Zima hula hoops and Pac-Man video games, don't you see people today have attention spans that can only be measured in nanoseconds? See, son, old legends never die. They just lose weight. Like a legend and an out of work from with a lot of life. now a little part of can you feel it from car jam 21 this is a metal edge magazines another effing podcast quick hitter my name is izzy presley and i've got paul gargano with here up very 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 early um good day good day sir it's good to see you this actually isn't that early well you know it's early for us to be recording yeah that's an excellent point That's an excellent point. And uh, the reason I've, I've already put out three fires today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I actually showered. Believe it. Whoa, or not. I see you're yeah, ahead of me. Yeah. yeah. Just putting I, out one fire. <laughs> yeah. One fire, one fire and got rid of the, uh, the, the, the streaked underwear, you know, got a nice, you, fresh, you got rid of one pair. fiery burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And uh, the reason we're doing this is because I saw a post this morning from our good friend, Mr. Philip Schaus of the Ace Fraley Band and Accept. And uh, there is, today is the 30th anniversary of the passing of Eric Carr. And he has a new project called Car Jam 21, which is in honor of the great Eric Carr, obviously. And um, they released a single today. I'm like, so I hit up Paul and Phil. I'm like, let's do something and talk about it really quick. Just, you know, just a few minutes, uh, hey, you know, like quick hitter. It's my middle name. What can I say? Um, <laughs> so, Phil, why don't you tell us a little bit? Good day, by the way. It's good to see you. Happy early Thanksgiving to both of you, yeah. gentlemen. You likewise. Too. Likewise. Um, how, how did this whole thing come about? Man, uh, so the main uh, organizer of this is a man named Jesper Lindgren over in Sweden. And he was, uh, he, um, was the main wrangler of all these people and all the people that he got on the project. And we now know we have so many mutual friends uh, in Sweden that uh, he works with and plays with and that I've played with before. And it just kind of, he asked me if I wanted to be involved in it. This was last summer. Um, And I just, I just cut uh, some guitar tracks on a couple of the songs and it's turned into a now it's a friendship with uh, he and I and I'm honored to be part of it with such a good good such a good cast of uh, cast of characters. Yeah, you said uh, Ryan Roxy's is part of this as well, right? From Dallas. Cooper. Ryan's on it. Um, Dragon from Backyard Babies uh, Helicopters is on it. Um, Jesper Benzer from DAD actually sings lead vocals on the single. Oh wow! That was released oh, wow. today. Um, so he's on it. God, I'm I'm missing everybody on this, but this is. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know I'm forgetting and I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of the names if I went through them. Um, but yeah, it was really, really great. It was a stacked lineup of people, really, really killer players. Now, right. is it the same players on every song? Or is it? Uh, no, different group? vocals. Uh, same drummer, I think the same drums and same bass. Uh, the bass was played by either Martin Eklund from Bonafide or his son. Uh, Gustav Kronfeld and Gustav is one of the people that did all the designing and the packaging of the thing so oh, nice I'm gonna go I want to go ahead and, and do this part because I have to if you're gonna pre-order the EP which you're gonna talk about later you gotta get a hard copy because the packaging they've worked out is absolutely awesome it's everything KISS fans like and KISS fans want in stuff like this trust With me the original great. lineup of KISS was that so it's the original lineup of Kiss that comes in the act, in <laughs> the vinyl. <laughs> that went right over. That was, you said it's you said it's everything Kiss fans like. So I said the original lineup of Kiss. Okay. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They press them in cardboard form in two D, and you can click on his cod piece for forty nine ninety nine. And uh, oh. but it's really great. It's got tons of good extras, and it's really, really, really well done. 
Izzy, you know what the problem with early morning podcasts are? Hmm. Having to talk about Gene Simmons' cod piece like, <laughs> before, before like your first morning beverage. <laughs> uh, before my French toast. <laughs> oh, but the, so so what was, did you guys go through a lot of discussions for the songs? I mean, the, the, like what songs got picked for this and what you decided to use? It, it was, uh, th- that was all decided when I got asked. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I know the Can You Feel It and Eyes of Love had come out on some Eric Carr related projects. Uh, Lindsley Records put out the Rockology, I think, last year, and mm-hmm. those two were on that. Okay. Um, and then I think Dragon picked Snowblind, and I think, um, the, the, I'm, I'm, uh, I forget who sang, I think uh, the singer of uh, Lover All I Can. Uh, picked that one so okay. the singer the, the singer whoever sang on it picked it that guy <laughs> yeah I, th- I think i think it's how it worked because they you know had the guy. Two cartoons and then kind of <laughs> wanted to round it out with two more kiss songs i'm that guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know the guy I always wore a shirt that guy <laughs> and now you said you said the packaging to go back because I, I got sidetracked by making a kiss joke um the so the packaging is it going to be coming out are you doing vinyl are you doing just cd what are, what's the plan uh, vinyl, uh, no CDs, so it's either like super analog or ones and zeros. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's one or the other, no in between. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's going to be digital and vinyl. But you, I'm really stressing you need everybody that's going to purchase it. You need to go ahead and get a hard copy. I'm, it's I'm really, just, really, really great. Just because Eddie Trunk's not here to defend CDs, I'm going to go out and say the only two ways I listen to music are analog or ones and zeros so i'm perfectly happy with that decision <laughs> my last two computers haven't had cd drives in them, so yes there you oh, go wow. and my last two cars haven't either so there you go yeah. hey i still roll my cassettes though like a man <laughs> well th- everybody's re-releasing everything on cassette now too i know it's great it's, it's, it's great I, retro way exactly uh-huh. exactly retro. um where the hell was I going to go with this? I forgot where I was going to go with this. I had notes and I just wrote down two Wait, things. You had notes. Well, I, I had notes. Can you feel it? <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't that say open beer for the working man? Hey, right. that <laughs> no, it's uh, it's nine thirty in the morning, my brother. But yeah, like, I, I don't mean, drink till nine thirty-five. <laughs> exactly. It's a little too early. Fine. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. It's Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's oh, awesome. and I suppose, in the words of the great Don Jameson. Oh, my God. Oh. To hell with our livers. I think, are we, does that make us enablers, Paul? I think we're I enabling think, I think it does. I think I it do. does. <laughs> and, you know, I've been called a lot worse than an enabler in my life, so I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm cool with that. Now, and I'll probably be called a lot worse than an enabler by the end of the day today. So it's really. <laughs> 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 so it's do you um so it you they approached you about this project it wasn't it wasn't something that you guys were working on for a long time and was there were there a bunch of other people asked or was it just it basically as he went out he had this he had his little dream team of people he wanted to work with and that's how you guys got together i think it's how it worked yeah uh i had known people that he's working with currently and have and has worked with and i was on the list and uh, he had reached out and asked me, and I said absolutely because it was last year, and I was doing a lot of recording in the home anyway, and yeah, um, nothing was going on, and this seemed like a cool project. And it turned out it sounds great. The songs came yeah. out awesome. It's a great lineup of folks on it, and uh, it's just a great. It's put together really well. They did an awesome job. I hope I get to do more things with them because it's uh, everything was done so well. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing the other stuff. The one, the one single that we have heard sounds great. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. again, that, cool, that was an Eric that was an Eric Carr song that other than post post death releases that hasn't really seen the light of day correct yeah uh they I think they uh both these came out on the demo versions came out on a yeah. uh, uh, release by Lindsley Records last year called Rockology okay. yep and um this on can you feel it is um Jesper Benzer from DAD I believe singing on that track on Eyes of Love they got the Eric Carr vocal Oh, wow. So it actually is Eric's vocal track singing. So that was pretty cool playing along with that and Eric in the headphones. And that was, that was pretty wow. cool. 
That's awesome. It, 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 it's yeah. weird, though. It, it's kind of ironic that the two Kiss songs they picked aren't Eric songs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and it was like, okay. I think it was just kind of like, whatever. You know, we're doing yeah. these two, and they just wanted them to round out the project and get songs that the guys wanted to sing and the guys wanted to play. So everything came out really well. I think yeah, it's you, all- you- Go ahead, Paul. I was going to say, I think it's also just because – you know, Eric fans are Kiss fans. And at the end of the day, yeah. that's, you know, it's, you're hearing Kiss songs. And that's, that's, that's kind of part of the legacy. Right. I, with- I was going to comment. It just seems, it, it's good that projects like this are being done. And it's good that, you know, people like you guys are doing this because I honestly, I, I love Kiss. I love Gene. I love Paul. I wish sometimes they did more to honor, honor the legacy of the band instead of just kind of, sweeping it under a rug and being like this is who we are and again no disrespect to eric or tommy because i think they're fantastic and i have absolutely no problem seeing kiss with them no problem at all i think they do a great job um it's just i still think it's important to honor the legacy so it's really really great that you guys are doing this and it's a lot of like fan projects and like a lot of the bootleg box sets that have come out. But I mean, have you have you gotten to crack open the 45th anniversary Destroyer Super Deluxe box? Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. Awesome. Not yet. It's killer. <laughs> so they're getting it now because uh, yeah. there were so many bootleg boxes that came out last year that were incredible. Yeah. And this is on the level with that. So I think oh, wow. we're probably going to see more of things like that. Not only from fans and from uh companies like that but i think from the from kiss you know themselves are going to start putting out some more in-depth things too because they're yeah. they're going to sell great no, I mean, and with kiss fans with kiss fans and eric carr fans you really never hear a kiss fan say anything bad about eric carr like to back up what you were saying paul and right they just go hand in hand and if you like kiss you like eric you like eric you like kiss you know it's you just ever, phil did you ever get to see eric i never did my first kiss show was revenge oh that's right that's yeah, right. I got in. I got into them right after they had come to Huntsville, Alabama, on the Hot in the Shade tour. All my friends went to that show. Yeah, yeah I noticed that. <laughs> All my friends went to that show, and I wasn't there yet. I just, I didn't get into it until after that. Yeah. Did you, Izzy? Yeah, yeah. Hot in the yeah, Shade. My, that was my first. Hot that was my shade. first Kiss show. Yeah. I, uh, my first was my first was Crazy Nights. So. I had a, I got, I saw a couple. Very cool. So how many drummers have you seen, Izzy? Have you seen uh, Peter? Yep. Yeah. So you've I've seen, seen Peter, I've, Eric. I've seen all three. Yeah. So you've seen three. Yeah. And Eric with and without makeup. Ah, yes. Oh, Very yeah. Cool. Uh, so you fine. just got into Kiss at Hot in the Shade? Or is that Phil, when you Phil. first had a chance to see them live? Me? No, Phil. Oh, Phil. Oh, uh, it was right after the Hot in the Shade tour left um, where I lived, Huntsville, Alabama. Uh I got into them then, so Revenge. I didn't really get into them until then. I got into them kind of late. But once that happened, I was just, you know, I got it. I got it. You know, I totally got it. Never got to to see Eric, but I I toured with Gary Corbett for a couple of years with a country act with, with Chris Cagle. Um, and I knew who Gary was and I gave him a couple of days before I started letting him have it with, <laughs> with, with Eric Carr and Kiss questions, but, uh, he was great, man. Uh, rest in peace, Gary, but he was, he was awesome and always had great stories and, you know, never shied away from telling them that he was awesome. That's great. The, uh, I, I, I had the opportunity to see, um, I was at Chris Jericho's birthday party over the weekend in Tampa and he quarantine played the Kiss cover band. Yeah, uh, I know Kent, the drummer is a uh, Nashville guy. I know Kent. Yeah, I, I hung yeah, out with Kent. Too. Hung out with Kent a lot. Yeah, it yeah, was great. Kent was great. Um, the uh, and it was it was interesting because it, it kept reminding me of in um, Step Brothers, where like we're we're the we're the premier '80s Billy Joel tribute act. As I'm watching, <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> piano man, piano man. <laughs> yes. I, there was there was so I, I did not have nearly enough to drink to just stand up there and yell, love gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So, you did, so when you got into kiss, you got into makeup kiss or non-makeup kiss, I presume, first. Uh makeup kiss. My oh, friend Brad Mc- yeah, first. my friend Brad McCorder made me a mixtape at my request. 
okay. of stuff I should like. Because this is like early 90s, so it wasn't really that cool to be a Kiss fan at that point, yeah. at least in America, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And so he had the pinball machine back then. Oh, wow. He was like the guy. And so he made me a, a mixtape, and it was primarily makeup stuff. So that's what okay. I got into first. But then when Revenge came out, I mean, that was the new Kiss record. So I got it, and I was into that because it was that and unholy was awesome and you know so that was that was the beginning of it and then the next thing i had was the unplugged and then reunion so it kind of yeah. i came in right before all that stuff did so you just completely skipped over the 80s stuff i did and i'm still not that well versed in it i've listened to them all and i've got some favorite songs but i still as a whole i'm kind of like yeah it's there's some good parts i'm not like a mad about it like some people are like that's their favorite right. era certainly isn't my favorite era you're, you're i think not, you're, I, not trying, I, you're not trying to like you're not trying to poison kent so you could back into like quarantine or anything yeah no i'm good <laughs> I'm right. even even though you'd have to learn drums too to do that but that's another story exactly so i'm not like really edge and ace to do like any, you know fairly's comment stuff either i'm not that guy i'm like we should probably do liver liver all i can sometime you know oh don't let it like that, that. oh no yeah. dude, look that's fine you guys keep playing all the kiss songs in the ace band then we will just keep playing all the dude. We just added, uh, we're gonna do five card stud now. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's yeah. room for everybody, man. There Jobs is. Good. We is, I mean, I got the jacket. We might as well play the 80 songs. And what did you get the guitar? The washburn? No, I want one. Oh, so okay, bad. okay. I want one so bad, but that's gonna be out of Izzy's price range. My uh, friend has, my friend has two of those. Oh, uh, rub it in. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> So if one went missing, he might not notice. <laughs> Never know. Never hey, know. What, what happened? There, there's this guy in Burbank. He's got some fuck. He's got another guitar and he's got an Ace Frehley tribute band. One of mine is gone. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus Christ. I, lo I love the yeah. fact that when we say we're going to do a quick hit and we start talking about Kiss. It'll be an hour later. We'll still be talking. Yeah. About it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Paul, look at the bright side. We needed to do a show this week anyway. So here we go. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, Q, uh, Q Izzy's uh, Sebastian impression. Uh, oh, God. Uh, dude, can we just talk about Kiss? Yeah, dude, can we just talk about Kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Two of you. I just got hit with a double whammy of Sebastian. Imitation. Double bands. <laughs> It was, like a left and a, it was like a left and a right. It was like two Balboa jabs. <laughs> Double Bach Alley. Alley. Well, dude, since we got you here, I know you're waiting for a package, so we might as well keep going. Paul, if you got time, totally. whatever. Yeah. Um, how, did, how, did the, uh, how did the Cooper show tour go? How, how was all and that? It was, it was so great. Um, a, that we finished it. Yeah. Uh, that we yeah, did right. all the shows, no postponements or cancellations. No, nobody even got a, one positive test. So it was awesome. And uh, after being out of work that long, going out that hard for five weeks uh, on a you know actual real tour, it was 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 pretty amazing. Um, and plus, I mean, the Alice show is incredible, and his yeah, everybody from from him on down. They are like they're. I know every they have every tour. Everybody says this, but it's really true. It's like they're <laughs> like the best people, like top notch. Like just everybody involved was great. We had a ball. That's fantastic. We had a ball. <coughs> was it? What was it weird getting out on the road again after a year and a half off? Uh, yes and no. It was just it was really long. Because five weeks is like that's that's a long time to be out like now anyway. Because most you know most of my things now have been like weekend stuff. And yeah. when, when except when except goes on tour, you know you're gone for a few weeks then. But um, with Ace, it was always like kind of weekends and long weekend runs, um, which are great. So it was a long time, uh, but it was great. The venues were awesome. We did all we did from you know big sheds to you know great size theaters, and yeah, it was uh, it went great. It was super fun and. Um, yeah, we did it. Did you do M3 this year? Uh, with Accept, yes. Yes, I was trying to, I yeah. was like, Accept yeah. was, yeah. Because I remember yeah. Accept was, I was like, Accept was M3. I always, I mean, it's a lot of festivals. I went to a lot of festivals this year, so I was trying to think. I'm like, I mean, Accept was fantastic at M3. I remember that. Oh, man, thank you. Yeah, that was, the, we we walked off and we're like, yeah, 
that was pretty good, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> we felt yeah. pretty good about that show. <laughs> that was a good weekend. We had that one, and we had a gig uh, in Penn's Peak. Okay. Uh, in Pennsylvania, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, yep. before yep. that one. So yeah, we were. That was a good little run. That was a lot of fun because that was our first shows back. Was Penn's um, Peak? Was Penn's Peak? Was like I can't remember the name of the venue. Was it like the log cabin type place? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's a really cool venue. I've been there. With, I was there with Drowning Pool and Scott Stapp. That was a, that was a really cool venue. Yeah, it, re- it was really, really nice. I'd done some country things there before. Okay. Uh, I did country stuff for 10 years in Nashville before. And uh, I've been there before. So, but yeah, it was great. The M3 was just fun. Our, the reception, the crowd reception for yeah. Accepted M3 was fantastic. Yeah, it was really, it was. Uh, it, so, you, guys were, you guys were right before Queensryche, right? Yes, I think, I think Queen's Rec went on right after you. Yeah, it was a really, it was a good. That was a good night. It was a really good night, and both bands were really, really good. Yeah, awesome, man. Thank you. So, what do you have coming up? Um, got a couple accept shows in uh, New York uh, next week, uh, first week in December, Long Island and Poughkeepsie, um, and then I, I was heading to Europe with Accept in January, but that got canceled. Yeah. So yeah, we're uh, that was going to be January and February. It got postponed to twenty three. Yeah. This is the is the official answer, but it ain't happening. Right. So <laughs> so I'm uh, so I'm, I'm I'm not doing shit. So uh, my schedule's <laughs> open, man. Uh, I think Ace starts back in March. Um, so some things are trickling in for March and uh, and April's got some shows. We're doing some more Alice shows in the West Coast. Oh, Actually, really? oh, nice. Think, I think in April they they are. I'm not sure where yet, but they're coming details to follow soon so and hopefully we're all crossing our fingers for summer festivals you know hopefully those will happen because except has a great schedule this summer yeah so well i know they're starting to come together right now so it's hopefully yeah i think i'm I'm just hoping everything can be back to as normal as possible for next year i mean every day it's like every day you're just crossing your fingers the man i mean wakes up every morning just dreading what email is going to come in talking about mandates somewhere and rule changes and it just upsets everything so quickly yeah i'm not sure what california it seems like everywhere that we went and where i live now it's it's full steam ahead yeah we're it's pretty much like everywhere we went i mean on the tour we were masked up um except on stage um dressing room and bus you know it was that uh but you know, I think you know, people. I think masks were optional at the shows. You know, was there were there were no kind of like mandatory things for the shows. I think we're, I think we're not going back here. I think it'd be a big, I think it'd be a big problem if it, if some things went backwards in, in America right now. I think, it, I think it, it. Sadly, it depends a lot on the political inclinations of the states at this point because yeah, which yeah. is terrible. Yeah, which yeah. is absolutely. I know a backslide just happened in New York yesterday. Like in upstate New York, there's there's regulations stepping in now because I've got a few shows up there in December and it's, it's oh, okay. crazy. So it's just, it's just, it's still, it's still a challenge, but it's great to get out there. It's great to, it's awesome that you guys are out there doing what you do because it's, people, it's possible. People have to get used to going to shows again. Yeah, it's possible. You can do it. We had really good turnouts too. Yeah. I was really, really happy with the, all the turnouts. Um, yeah. They were, they were, and they were, they were into it. You know, we'd hit the stage and we, and they were into it and glad to be back and glad to be, you know, hearing rock music, you know, yeah. played in front of you again. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good feeling. Were you guys doing like meet and greets or how was, how was that all handled? Nothing. Nope. None. Okay. None. Um, to get back, to have guests backstage, they had to be immediate, like family or, you know, girlfriend yeah. or something like that. And they had to have uh, vax proof to do a PCR test within 72 hours and get tested on site. So it was a thing for guests too. So, okay, you know, I had my girlfriend come out to two shows and that's all I had. Like nobody had anybody but family out, very little guests. So yeah, all that was very, very uh, controlled. Good. Well, it's a good thing I'm family. (sighs) Exactly. Or something like that. <laughs> or, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, right, right. Um, it, it was, you know, bring it back to the the '80s Kiss thing. Um, you, you know, you were on the on the Kiss cruise. Were you up front center watching uh, watching Kulik doing his? Uh... Not front and center, but I was side stage. Absolutely, man. That band is on fire. They're so great, and they play all that stuff so well. And that's yeah. 
th- th- they're locked into every cruise from now on. I mean, they're like, yep. maybe people, people I think look forward to their shows, maybe even more than Kiss's shows at this point. Um, just, uh, they're just, they're so great. And you've got, you had Todd Kearns, and now you got Todd and Zach Throne yeah. as your two singers. Yeah. So those guys sing, you shouldn't be able to sing that well. As good as any of those guys. And man, and Brent back there and Bruce, it is a hot band. And uh, it's always fun to hear the songs that they pick and they play them and sing them so well that it's just, yeah, they're, it's, it's awesome. They're doing, a, they're doing a New Year's Eve gig in Vegas. Yeah. No, it's, I think it's the 30th. It's the 30th. It's not on New Year's. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, their but, first, yeah. it's their first gig on land. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, it, and that will be at uh, Counts of Amped, of course, uh, my buddy Danny Coker from counts customs and yep. uh counting cars and it's wednesday so that means it's counting cars day as well so awesome. i had to put the, i had to put the jersey on nice yeah well, that's also, a- let's 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 be fair you also have to put the jersey on because that kiss jersey probably is an extra large that fits like a medium and yeah, exactly. <laughs> is that your shirt from the show is he yeah is that the, it is is it really wow it is. It's it so is. funny because I've got the same shirt and I wore it. I can't remember what. Sh- oh, when Jeremy Spencer, the Jeremy Spencer episode, all three of us ended up having kiss shirts on unbeknownst to each other. And I had to have a shirt on over mine as well, because at this point, I look like I have a bigger chest than Dolly Parton when I wear that kiss shirt. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> and by the way, Dolly's chest is fantastic. Mine is not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw it. Damn ball. <laughs> <laughs> i've only got one i think i have my reunion tour shirt still i got the one that has the i think it was the american flag over the states like it was yeah that one. yeah yeah i got that one i think i still have that and i had a white i got the white revenge shirt with like the band shot on the front and the kiss logo i think in red that's that's long gone uh but yeah i think i still have the reunion I have my Crazy Nights shirt. I have my, it's the white shirt with the album cover. I have my Hot in the Shade. I don't think I bought a shirt at Revenge. Um, I've got the reunion shirt from Tiger Stadium that day. Like, oh, nice. Even, I've, never even, I've never even worn it. It's still in the bag. Um, oh, nice. A, like I survived, I think it was, I, it either says I was there or I survived Tiger Stadium. I um, was there was, is, is their catchphrase. Like there, I, I was there, yeah, yeah, was, yeah I was there. there. Um, but yeah, it was, I've got quite a few. I do not have, I, I don't know where in the hell it is. My, uh, convention tour shirt. Oh, nice. That said, I was there. Fuck you. You blew it. <laughs> I do have, um, I have one of the vests, but I don't have, I have the fist one. Oh, I don't have, I don't have the middle yeah. finger. One, oh, so I, God, I, those dude, were con- that bomber jacket I want so bad. I think those were convention vests i think i don't know i don't know but uh, hang on i think it's right here hang on i love it this is this is what kiss geeks do they just start showing off their shit oh look at that that's awesome yeah kiss oh, yeah. Yes. yeah that one so whatever wow i didn't I know think... they did vests i just yeah. knew they did the bomber jackets yeah, this one, and it is in a zip sleeve, so yeah, it's a vest, and I think it's, uh, yeah, like, the, they they made one with the, with the middle finger on it, too. Those are harder to find. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, this is pretty cool. How are you not wearing that on stage every night? It's kind of cumbersome. It's a little bit big, and it's kind of like <laughs> the well, sleeves come I, out I, like I, that. I, I'm bigger <laughs> than you. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and uh, yeah. Christmas is coming up in a uh, I less wear, in about a interview, I guess. Let's, I'll show you. It's like a little bit it might be more yes. fitting for accept. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Except for the big kiss logo on the back. Except for the big kiss logo on the back, yeah. Yeah, let me see if it, uh, I can see. Yeah, for the for those listening at home, this is why you uh, need to watch the YouTube. Oh, this link is because, fascinating um, the audio. We're getting the a audio show. Here we go. See, now you um, now, now you audio. look now you look like Sebastian Bach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And, and if you are listening at home, that zipper you just heard unzipping, that was the jacket that was in Izzy's pants. So. Yeah. <laughs> or was it? Or was it? Or was it? Well, or was it? My, I have a batch of concert shirts that's missing, and I'm, it's got to be at my parents' house in Connecticut somewhere. 
but one of them is he is a um one of the ace rock soldier shirts from um from when ace opened for iron maiden on the oh, wow. um, on the seventh sun tour it's a gray shirt i have and i i have a feeling that, that thing would fit me like a half shirt at this point <laughs> male crop top what was male on that crop. was it like the fraley's comet font what was on that one it was um i think there was a comet growing across the if i'm not mistaken the comet going across the front and it had like cards uh, the back had like playing cards on it and it okay. said rock soldiers and i'm pretty certain it had tour dates but i'm not positive okay like that my um my thousands of shirts that are everywhere I, I'm pretty certain that that one was, it was gray. I know it was gray. It had the Fraley's Comet font. I know there was a comet on there somewhere and I know there were playing cards. Okay. Uh, the one I was looking for is in my uh, box of shirts I'm way too fat for. And it was, uh, it, it's the, uh, the, uh, the, the Fraley's Comet shirt from the first tour. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I did, this is the only, this is the only one I got. This is the, uh, the kick ass tour. Ah. This is the first time well, I saw when, a solo. When was that? 93, I think. Okay. Yeah. Not to be with, confused with a kick axe tour. Kick, right. Ah. That wasn't the bad boys with Peter Chris. That was no, later. No. Right? Yeah, it was later. I think it okay. was later. Yeah, because I was 21. Okay. I was 21. Absolutely. Um, well, Phil, what else do you got coming up? Anything other other than except uh, other except Nasa? What's going on in Nashville? You doing gigs in Nashville? You doing uh, jams? You you know doing you know. a couple? Yeah, I'm doing a. Me and Jeremy are doing a couple tunes uh, coming up this weekend. Uh, some friends of ours have had a band for 20 years now called Guilty Pleasures, and they're that's a great name for the band. It's kind of what they play, and it's those kind of that stuff from anywhere from like George Michael to In Vogue to um trying to think what else it's not just 80s stuff it's every decade yeah. they're, and they're really really great so jeremy and i have always gone and played the more guitar driven mm -hmm. tunes so we're doing a night ranger song um we're doing uh, i was made for loving you speaking of, of course kiss, we're, we're of course of we're course. doing like five tunes with them um this saturday then i got the accept stuff I got a Beatles brunch coming up. Um, I'm really pushing Mutt Merch this this uh, Black Friday. So if you need some Christmas yes. gifts, head to muttmerch.com and pick something out for you and your furry companion and your pet, meaning this dog, right, man. Right, 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 right. Right. You're not talking about like Izzy to me or me to Izzy. Yes, exactly. yes. Well, you're more, exactly. you're more, you're furry, more furry than I. So yeah, I'm more yeah. Velcro. So if you have cats, if you want to get a shirt on a cat, that's up to you. Um, <laughs> it all depends on the cats. Dogs are yeah. more cool with wearing clothes. So, uh, but yeah, get there. Tell me Big more about this. Going on. Tell me, uh, I'm surprised this is, by the way, this is the first um, podcast we've done where my dog hasn't barked yet. So this is, this is because normally, oh, no. <laughs> normally yeah. right in the prime time for males showing up. So. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Good deal. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, a little uh it's a little corgi chihuahua mix he's he was a rescue it's like oh. 14 15 pounds awesome he's, he's amazing he's he have, he's still he's actually in bed at the moment he's not even he hasn't even come wow. out of bed yet. good as he should be good i think he'd be yeah, about right a, he's under them i think that's about a i think it's a medium 14 15 pounds he, he'd wear a medium yeah so. he's definitely not he's not like a uh, he's not a purse dog okay yeah, he's good. So, so what is the name of the site again? Yeah, it's muttmerch.com, M-U-T-T-M-E-R-C-H.com. And uh, for those of you listening at home uh, or watching, uh, it's like I do T-shirts mainly, some other products too, but I do Black Labbath, Aerosniff, Grateful Dane, Neuterhead. Oh, fantastic. Bones and Noses. So you get the, you get the idea. The Beagles. Yeah. And uh, now all this, there's this is a charity aspect to this, correct? The, yeah, the goal is um, it's it's been a hard, it's been like now over five years and it's pushing and pushing and pushing. All we can do now is really just kind of like post about charities and everything, I'm not bringing yeah. enough money to help. 
um, that's paying right. for itself. That's about it. But the yeah. goal is to, of course, grow and to really, really, really make a difference with rescue charities. Yeah. Are, are you working with Ace? You, are, have you talked to Ace Von Johnson about collaborating and doing something together with this? Because Ace yeah, is a big he's, rescue He's guy. here. He's, he's my neighbor now, pretty much. He lives like, a, oh. I just hung out with him um, last week at this brand new place. It's kind of in our neighborhood. Um, yeah, Ace, I, I do as much with Ace as I possibly can. Um, he is a, he's a, a saint for for dogs in need especially pit bulls yeah. in need um so yeah working with ace and uh just hired a uh, a girl to do like really really boost up my social media marketing so that's one of the things in there too is working with more charities and getting like that getting more sales and cutting checks so that's the plan that's what it's all about and uh you you have do you, wait do you have a deal with uh american vintage the vintage guitars uh yeah man they've been the biggest supporter they, they, they've been uh the biggest supporters of me and ryan and jeremy um that we could have asked for great stuff too oh yeah absolutely it is oh you got you got something in you Izzy. Ugh. oh hell yeah nice yeah i fucking love this it was less than 500 dollars. it came out of the box in tune yeah and I, I I love this guitar and you you know if you're in Los Angeles you can see this guitar live on stage on December 3rd <laughs> at the Mint with myself playing with Mike Dawson and the Smoke and Kills. Awesome. Yeah, for the price point, I don't really know how they make guitars that play that well and sound that well. The electronics are great. That's it, it, really a quality instrument for you know, under $500. I I don't I don't yeah, get it. It's insane. I I need one of their Les Pauls. All right. I'm Phil. I, basically um i'm basically going spiraling down so you guys could just do this whole in the rest of the interview while i order shirts for my dog <laughs> um, <laughs> the rough pet tank top the rough instead of rush is phenomenal if, uh, if, if, if you look detailed i'm pretty proud of the detail on that one it's, it's a fire hydrant instead of the star yeah, fire hydrant <laughs> you got a little bit of signals in there yeah but it's um <laughs> And that's actually kind of looks like a little bit like my dog because it's the black and oh the perfect rough yeah one, definitely the rough one is going to be there. Um, I I wish there was a bones and noses dog that looked like my dog. Uh, <laughs> oh, funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I might have to do the run dig instead. I'm not the biggest hip hop fan in the world, but that run dig King of Bark instead of Run DMC is pretty. <laughs> And I'm a sucker for anything that says clearance. So there you go. Yeah. Plenty of, plenty of stuff. Big clearance sale too. 15% off or $15. Sorry. $15. Oh, really? Yeah. The clearance 15 bucks. When does that go? Cause it still says 30. Uh, that's that black Friday. That's, that's no, uh, the black Friday sales 25% off of the whole thing of the whole store. Oh. Um, but the clearance sales 15 bucks this period. That's till we run out. Oh, okay. Because they're not marked here. Does that happen at checkout? Um, which ones? I wish I had my computer in front of me. Uh, I'd look at the ones marked clearance are are fifteen bucks. Gotcha. That should ring out. That should they should be they fifteen ring out bucks. They That's should. They should. Be... Paul, if it if it if you do that and if it doesn't, let Izzy know and I'll fix it for you. Um, I'm these. This is fantastic. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm literally going to, this is going to, this is going to waste about an hour of my day today. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Love it. Um, rough, the rough one and the run DMC one are absolute. Um, I, oh, arrow sniff. That's my favorite, man. The detail on that one is really oh. good. Wow. That one's really, so do you have an artist that does these? Yeah, I have, uh, I come up with the ideas, but I can't really, I'm, I'm, I can't draw a crooked line. Yeah. Even on a computer with help, I can't do it. <laughs> so I got a great guy, a, a great guy named Dean Thomasek in Nashville did um, did uh, some of them. And I got a guy, Craig, Craig Shaddix in the area that does them now too. They're both it's great. So yeah, that's funny. Muttley Chew's good. Um, oh, Neuterhead. <laughs> Neuterhead's a good one. I've got two Beatles ones. I've got the Beagles. I've got Sergeant Pupper's Lonely Mutt's Pup Band. Yeah. Also, so. Yep. My wife would kill me if I ordered a Grateful Dane. Because <laughs> it comes in tie. Comes in tie dye too. 
she's she's in denial of the fact that I actually appreciate the Grateful Dead. Um, <laughs> Uh, yep, they're medium, eleven to twenty-three pounds. There you go. Okay. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I will be. Um. I'll be. I'll be donating to your. Uh. To your cause here. Uh. Today. Awesome. Thanks, <laughs> Paul. That's fantastic. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Uh, let me hit the outro music here. Ah, and you know, it's it's still Eric Carr related because it's the Black Diamond outro from um analyze live uncensored you're you're on just do, 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 do. Da, 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 yeah. yeah the bolero is nice well, one more thing i wanted to ask you but i got sidetracked by dogs because dogs are more i got my paw print tattoo. i just paused it there and i'll start it later that's all um, but the uh you're on all four of these tracks right so when i'm the on two I'm on, on uh, I'm on the two uh eric card demos i'm on can you oh, feel wow. it single okay. and on eyes of love Okay. All right. So you're on those two. You're not on the two covers. Fantastic. Right. Okay. Do you have any other recorded stuff coming out later? I know you have the shows. Is there any other recorded stuff coming out? Or is... um, as far as shows, they're doing a... Hang on. Let me get my maintenance guy in here real quick. Can oh, you no, pause no, it? Do you have any recorded music coming out? That was what I was... Oh, uh, do right. I? Uh, I do not. I got I'll you. be right back. All right. Oh. I'm not talking to myself this time. <laughs> I like that. I'm not it's talking hard. to myself this time. Well, I live alone, so it's like, who else am I going to yeah. talk to? Oh, who okay. else is going to laugh at my jokes? <laughs> right. It's the most, it's the most uh, intelligent conversation around, as I always say. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But to answer your question, uh, no recorded music um, at the moment coming out. So somebody call. I can play. Very All right, well, let's record something. <laughs> <laughs> let's record something. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, all right, cool. Let me uh hit this one more time. Um, so Phil, if they, people want to find you, they want to find they want to pre-order the record. Where can they pre-order the record? Pre-order the record, it's all over uh the interwebs today. Um, look at any any look, you can look at my social media called Car Jam 21. Um, it'll have links to listen to the new single and to pre-order the uh car jam 21 ep released uh, january 7th and you're going to want to get a hard copy it's going to be great stuff so yeah this it's all over just google search car jam 21 and also obviously hit up acefraley.com and accept.com mm -hmm. i would assume just for all That's... the tour dates and information you can see phil play live and if you're in nashville go down in broadway you might see him on the corner you know play with with an acoustic cart just trying to get the get enough money for that one pair to get one pair get two free boots exactly <laughs> right see <laughs> exactly that's a great deal it is we got sucked in it's an amazing uh <laughs> Paul argano hit up at metal edge magazine on the instagram and of course you can find paul gargano there as well the show uh, page metal edge mag metal, metal edge mag. mag yeah metal on edge instagram mag. It's on Instagram. Yep. Okay. And uh, the website is metaledgemag.com. Um, and then you can find me, Real Izzy Presley, all the way across the board, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And of course, the show page is another effing podcast. My name is Izzy Presley. And in honor of the great, late, great Eric Carr, jump in the foxhole. <laughs>